Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to demo review this great guitar that I have here. I sold more, a bunch of new uh, of other guitars that I had to make room for this one. Uh, room in terms of a bank account and room in terms of guitars. There's actually no room. And um, just uh, by accident I had to make uh, twice a reset on my Boss Katana MK2 because I think something is not right. And, um, and I think I, I worse the fear, uh, I worse the fear. And I fear the worst because I think my katana is about to die. Uh, oh, shall I put this? Yeah, um, I have no signal and uh, nothing came out of it. I tried to use it at a USB, it didn't wor work out that way too. And so two factory resets and um, there was just a noise from the amp you know but nothing so um, gotta talk to boss because I think this one is gonna die anyway um, so this is the Wolfgang EVH standard uh, guitar and I have a couple of things to say about this guitar good and bad okay well I put this here on uh, you guys probably already seen reviews of this guitar on YouTube everywhere as always I'm the last in this kind of stuff uh, I never thought I would like this guitar so much, but there, this is just the, the regular stuff. You have a bass wood body, you have a baked neck, it's very, very cool. You have direct mount pickups, uh, which is kind of an inconvenience because you can really change the pickup height. Although you can do it, but they screw with four screws each pickup, so it's not very, very easy to do it. Uh, volume and tone knob, volume with treble circuit. I didn't even know about that bleed, which is retains the uh, I think retains the treble when it's down, and uh, through a position like a Les Paul caramelized maple, yeah, caramelized. caramelized. I don't know if that's the way you say. Oil neck finish, bolt on with graphite reinforcement, graphite, graphite, AVH um, foil bro special locking, AVH branded tuning machines, and what else? It comes with 942 string gauge and um, I think nothing more special here. Yeah, so uh, and it talks about the neck radius and, and it's something I wanted to talk about. Okay, so basically this is the guitar. It's very beautiful in this finish. I think you, you agree with that. And then on the back, we have this beautiful maple neck, maple roasted neck. And it's kind of a chunky neck, not, not a Ibanez neck, nothing like that. Chunky neck, more, more of my like a Les Paul, but not so rounded, if that makes sense. And at first I was a little bit skeptic about this uh, head design. I'm not really a fan of it. Uh, I don't know why they do it. I, I believe Eddie had another guitar from other brand. This was rounded, uh, probably from PV. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. Um, but then again, probably this is his design. I'm not very a huge fan of this little thing pointy thing here, I think it's doing nothing there really, but uh, since the headstock is so small when you check out the guitar, uh, I really get used to it and, um, and now I like it because it's very small. Now um, one thing I want to talk about, about bad things, this tremolo, it's not a bad thing, it's a actual a feature, it only goes down as you probably know, but it's, you gotta set up re really, really uh, really neat because otherwise it will touch you the body and every time you strum a chord or something like that you'll feel all the the you know this thing touching the body that resonates with the strings and it sounds like a mess so I had to be very careful and it's touch very very kind of um, in place but a little bit bit for backwards and it will touch the body and make noise like crazy I should have put some foam or something here so it doesn't make any noise, but that's the way it is. Uh, other than that, uh, many people talk bad about these tremolos, they wear out very easily, but only if you got really crazy into dive bombing every day, like Pantera. Um, apart from that, you can always trust on these kind of tremolos because they are worthy and well, well built. And then the pickups are really nice. I like the pickups, although they have a very pronounced mid-range, uh, in my opinion. Um, around 400 to 500 hertz, I don't know, something that I don't have on my other guitars, 
any, any guitar that I have. Probably voices uh, for Van Halen, right? And, um, and then something really weird happened here on the back. I don't know if you guys can see uh, some marks here on the cover of the electronics and here on the cover of the pickup switch because it had to, to I think you can see now, okay? Uh, and this is, uh, I mean, they could do it better. It had to, not one, but two uh, plastics on top of this. And I was taking out this one and I noticed there was another one on the, on, on the bottom and I thought maybe they put two to, you know, for extra protection, but no. That one is to stay like this one. Because if you remove this one, it still has a plastic. It will show you a very, very poorly made plastic, all scratched out. This doesn't come out, as I thought it would come, but it doesn't come out. So for the price of the guitar and taking into account that you can buy an hourly Benton half the price and don't have any of these kind of issues, this is really faulty. I don't know if you guys had any experience with this. Maybe my unit is faulty. Probably, I don't know. But, I mean, it's just a piece of plastic. Come on, guys, you could do it better. And then also, I noticed that um, when I bought this guitar, I bought it online. I didn't really test it out. Uh, it had the Fender logo here on the back, right? This one doesn't have it. It's not a fake, but doesn't have it. I don't know if there's an history to these guitars. Probably the early models didn't have it. And then they start putting once I don't know, uh, but the rest is very well built, base wood body, this is not the real maple uh, top, right? But uh, the top is very beautiful and um, it sounds great, plays great, but I, have, I do have a problem with this kind of radius on this neck because what happened is uh, the strings are super low in action. I mean, usually I, I, use, I measure here on a 12 fret, 1.5 mm, millimeters and two here. But, um, and I think it's a little bit lower than that, but still, you don't notice that when you, you're on the, on the high E, on the low E, but on the middle, you have this feeling that the strings are always a little bit too high. I'm always looking at there. Maybe because my battery is off way and that battery is not very good. Anyway, you notice that there's a bit of height to the strings here that, you know, I wish, I wish you could uh, turn down each saddle I think you can with a uh, right, Floyd Rose Remo, right? But you don't see, and even so, frets a little bit, but that's okay with me because I play lightly. But uh, that's if you guys like a really low action, like should be like this. I put my hand like this and it would be perfect, but it won't go that far, maybe because it's not a USA model. I don't know. Uh, I have no, I have no idea, but uh, it's playable, of course, but it's more of a, more of a like, even my Les Paul, um, tra uh, tradi not traditional classic, as lower action. Maybe it has to do with the curve of the neck, I don't know. Compound radio, stuff like that, very modern, but on the other hand, it's very straight as well. Just a little tiny, like this, so it doesn't fret out. But it, a little bit just, but it, it's actually kind of, you get used to it, but it's weird. It seems like the strings are always a little bit too high. Anyway, enough talking. Uh, let's check out the bridge pickup on the Katana, if it's still working, because I think it's going to die very soon. So it sounds like this. Everything is open. Since I did a factory reset, I just uh, dialed down the treble a little bit on the parametric EQ. I cut. The rest is all natural. Now on the, with both pickups. Hot pickups. Trying to make a little bit of distortion right now, and there's it's on the clean channel. This pickup, you can no, you can notice that it really has a pronounced mid range. right here on the G and D strings. But it sounds good nonetheless. Stays in tune, no worries.
Of course, these are brand new strings from Ernie Ball, so if they go a little bit out of tune, it's perfectly normal. A little bit of fret buzz. But that's it. Probably they should have done a better job on the frets. There's nothing here uh, that can cut you. They're very well finished. But I, I know I like to have a, a lower action and that bothers me a little bit. If you have a light touch, that's not a problem. And I tend to have a light touch, so for me, Okay, now on the current channel of the katana, on the bridge pickup, everything's wide open, sounds like this. responds well to your volume. So was the bridge pickup, neck pickup. I saw Van Halen playing on chain and he was using the neck pickup, but it's a very low tuning. Maybe he's using it on the album because that uh, low distortion bass probably comes from the neck pickup. But yeah, it has a decent sound to it. I think it's a 25 inch uh, scale guitar. And it all sounds all down to tune very well, even if you're do, doing like this. Sorry for my playing, I have no warm up whatsoever. But I think it's a very cool guitar, you know? You see, this is. If it knocks on the wood and it's there knocking on the wood constantly you will hear it through the amp. Let's go for the brown channel. Okay, so now I add a little bit of delay and a little bit of an overdrive in front. The one that it's come stuck when it's reset it. So I don't know which one it is. I think it's a blues drive. So the feeling that you get, at least for me, is always that the G and the D strings are a little bit higher than you'd like them to be, at least for me. But it does sound like vanilla. This is what happens when you have no warm-up and you can't play shit. Whoa. So you cannot pull the bar backwards, but it's normal, fine for me, no problem. Dive bombing is enough. Uh, and then I had here some issue with the E 
string went out of tune totally. Then you can shape the tone guitar, of course, but it sounds good. I've tried with my Marshalls ACM 800 and the other amps that I have here, and it sounds really good. <laughs> Okay, so this is my review of the guitar. I think it sounds great. My final thoughts are about that. And I love the fact that you have the truss rod adjustment here. It's so easy, man. Compared to those vintage kind of stuff for, from Fender that you have to remove the neck to adjust. Or even so, here, when you have something, usually I remove this thing. <clears throat> Not for my Gibson, but for other guitars, I remove the plastic because with, with uh, more than one guitar, you're constantly adjusting and uh, you need always to have your screwdriver, so <clears throat> I remove it. Anyways, I think it's well built, apart from that plastic thing that I've told you, but probably this is a bad unit in that regard. Uh, rather than that, uh, you cannot fault the guitar at all, there's no glue to see around there, probably because this also is not a real maple top, it's just, uh, you know, you know how it is, everything basswood. It seems like it's a two-piece two maple uh, basswood body, has a cut here, very well defined. And maybe another cut here, one, two, three, maybe three, yeah. And uh, it's made in Indonesia, but uh, you know, there's guys on YouTube, a, a, guy, a famous guy that plays with a lot of vanilla and stuff, that says that in terms of sound and pickups, there's no difference between this and the American one. I don't know if that's true. Um, but he tests them out and compares them, and actually, I heard no difference at all. Now, the American one has, probably has better construction, and they have that carved top, also from Indonesia, some guitars, uh, double the price of this one. But I'm not very fancy on the carved top. I prefer this flat top, I don't know why. And the belly curve that ceases to exist on the American models, don't know why as well. But uh, I do recommend this, this cost me $500, around that, in euros as well. And um, it's a great guitar, and if you want to play in rock Van Halen, you don't need a guitar like this, of course, but if you're really into Van Halen, um, and you want an affordable, well, very well-built guitar, you can go with this one and totally rock it out. So, thank you, many thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you find this demo review among a thousand other ones on YouTube interesting. And um, if you have any questions, leave me on the comments below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, it'll help a lot. And stay tuned for more. Take care. Cheers.